Well, this is a very fluid story and we just got breaking information minutes ago and I want to begin by saying that police are not calling the woman who died a suspect, but they are saying that she was in the suspect vehicle. This is a vehicle that agents were trying to stop and make an arrest on uh, in connection with this human smuggling investigation. Now take a look at uh, some video here from our 3TV drone from this overhead angle. You can see a vehicle crash through a cinder block wall outside of a home on 48th Street. According to investigators, four ICE special agents were trying to make an arrest in a human smuggling case around 10 a.m. They were following a car with five people in it. Agents used a forceful maneuver to stop that car, and according to Phoenix City Councilman Sal DeCicio, that is when one of the passengers got out with an assault rifle and opened fire, sparking a shootout. One woman in the car was killed, four other people in the vehicle were hurt, and all four special agents were taken to the hospital for evaluation. As soon as like I peek over the fence, you hear just like this hailstorm of bullets just like coming down like everywhere. It was like at least like like from fifty to like a hundred bullets, like so quick, like all under like in ten seconds they were already shot. Yeah, another witness described this as like a war zone. Now, our cameras were there as emergency crews loaded a woman onto a stretcher and into an ambulance. We blurred her face because we're not sure yet exactly how she fits into the investigation, whether or not she was in that suspect vehicle as well. Now, all four of the federal agents are expected to survive. They were part of ICE's Homeland Security Investigations Unit. Both ICE and Phoenix Police are still out here very much actively investigating. We'll bring you any updates on our air and on azfamily.com. Reporting live, I'm Derek Stahl for Arizona's Family.